got work or not? Not a rap problem. But we rest that. Your brother's gotta go. Brother, he ain't gonna pay for your son's fuck up. My man, what's going on? Walked in on you and Tony like a hundred times? <laughs> Tony D, man. You and her were together. I told you, I don't know you. You need to move the fuck on. A mistake then. Sorry. He was implicated in a cocaine operation by a witness who was later murdered up in Westchester County a while back. The hitter on that job was one Marco Baselli. Sal Baselli's kid. A first grader could connect these dots. What about that task force bullshit? What they getting into? They ain't got nothing on nobody. No suspects at all. Life's about choices. The moves you make and the ones you don't. Welcome back, Top Notch Gang, to another video. And as you can see, we're diving into how Detective Howard will put Marvin in prison by the end of this season. I think this is a bold prediction, but all the signs are adding up. So I want to dive into how he's going to do this because a lot of people seem to be confused where this whole case is coming from against Marvin. You had to remember what happened in season one with Tony Deep, the deal with Marco Basali that Marvin made. So we're going to dive into the details of all that, of how it came to be and how Marvin might be going down. And also going to talk into why Howard is doing this, the options he has, he's limited. He has to make some shake. So we're going to dive into the details of that. Then in the second half of the video, I want to focus on jukebox. Cause I think this is going to be a big factor in her character development, because of course this is her first look at a dirty cop. And we know she went on to become a dirty cop in the original power. We also know she lost a cop that was a friend in Officer Berg and with her dad, Marvin going down for this i think this is going to have a lot of push and character development on jukebox her joining the army at the end of the season her first kill everything we're going to dive into it so as usual leave a like comment subscribe let me know what other characters you want to see me do a deep dive on before the end of season three and let's get right into it now to first start off where the case is coming from we got to talk about tony d now of course she was set to be a witness in marvin's cocaine operation which you guys heard detective panner say in the episode where he gave the file to detective howard he was implicated in a cocaine operation by a witness who was later murdered up in westchester county a while back now knowing she was going to be a potential witness after dating her after they got into the fights marvin found out where she was staying and it so happened to be the area that marco baselli sales kid already stayed so he went to him and asked him to get the job done because he couldn't do it himself he said if he was a black guy going into the white neighborhood it wouldn't look too good for him it would instantly be pointed out so he hired marco i handle it myself my black ass show up out there alarm start ringing if i do this it's outside my family all right, my father doesn't know about this. Now, before Marco accepted the job, he of course went to Unique and Unique told him, hey, Marvin, you don't fuck with him, but he pays what he owes. Hey, what do you know about the older brother? Fuck Marvin. He wants to do some business together. As far as I know, Marvin pay what he owes. So Marco took up the job and him and his boy went to do the hit on Tony Deep. Now, of course, they completed the mission. Tony Deep did get killed, but the nigga that was on the mission with Marco accidentally shot his partner and killed him. And now because of all this, this is how the war with Sal Baselli started because wanted Rock to give up Marvin for going behind his back to his son and ultimately getting him killed. Your brother's gotta go. So I'm telling you, your brother has to go, which is fair and just. Now Rock told that nigga, hey, your son fucked that shit up by himself. You're not having Marvin. Brother. He ain't gonna pay for your son's fuck up. And she said condolences to your family. And he says same to you because he still goes out his way to send a hit at Marvin, but he misses. He ends up killing Marvin's girl. And this causes a trickle down effect. In the next episode, Lou goes and gets get back for Marvin. Shit is on and popping at this point. And we saw at the end of season two, of course, Sal sent one last hit out. He sent all of them to Lou's studio. They shot that up. Rock's apartment building got Marvin shot and he he also sent them to 
Rock's house, killing Jukebox's mom, shooting Rock, and of course she had to be saved by Unique. Also in season three, Marvin finally took out Cell and ended the war. So now they're gonna be able to piece this whole story back together and connect Marvin to every part of it. The Cell's debt, Marco's debt, all the way back to Tony D, and him being involved in a cocaine operation. Now, this is where Detective Howard letting him take the fall for everything comes in. Obviously, as we've been mentioning, he was told to plan everything about Marvin and what's going on. He told Rock at first he'll look out for her with this task force. And the reason I think he'll let Marvin take the fall is because we just saw in episode seven, when she asked about the task force, he told her they had nothing, no suspects, no anything, even though they gave him all that information on Marvin and that he was the next target. What about that? task force bullshit what they getting into they ain't got nothing on nobody no suspects at all so he chose to hide that from her which is very interesting because we also saw in episode four he told her he wasn't taking her calls anymore he's done she's gonna have to start figuring this shit out on her own i ain't taking your calls no more you gotta start figuring this shit out on your own some people is gonna say in episode seven he went and told her the Chantel information even rock say within that scene that was only to cover his own ass because he was the one who told her scrap was the snitch he was the reason scrap got killed so he had to cover up the Chantel situation turns out one eye jack one no snitch after all the only reason you even care is because the shit tracks back to you and your fuck up on scrap but the reason more than ever I think he's choosing to hold on to this information to, as a safety if he needs someone to take the fall pin it all on if he needs to side with the cops and everything like that is because Rock told him in that conversation as well that she could blow his whole shit up don't you never forget I can burn your shit down to the ground detective and I don't think he took too kindly to that. So I think he's gonna hold on to this Marvin information. And with Rock currently thinking she has a man inside the police department that's helping her, he could keep this information for his own use and Marvin and Rock won't ever see it coming. And this is important because we also saw this season that Howard is trying to get a job as, as like head of narcotics. Basically, he's gonna be working closely with the task force and he's gonna get more and more information. And these not the dumbest detectives that we normally see in power they're able to actually piece the shit together and since they're not main characters they're not having as many fuck ups so i think it's gonna come to a point where he knows someone is gonna have to get brought down or they say they're having to do a background check into him all his associates his background everything like that and i think they might find out about him and rock in the past that she was his ci remember the guy in the wheelchair already called her rock when he was being questioned by the fed what about Raquel Thomas? Fuck Rock got to do with Basil. Rock? Is, is, is that what people call her? So if they could connect Rock back to Howard, he's going to have to start spilling information and serve someone up to the feds if they find out he's a dirty cop. Dirty cops, they protect themselves first and foremost, and I think Howard is just going to do the same. Last up, Jukebox, the impact Marvin going to jail is going to have on her. Now, I always said the entire show, Jukebox has gone through the worst shit. We saw when Nicole died, of course, the big ass fight she had with Marvin. He is changing now, but that shit was crazy. Of course, the situation with her mom and the church trying to convert her, then her mom ultimately dying at the end of season two. And then the last straw was Burke dying because after that moment, she directly went to sign up for the military. And of course she knows Howard did this. She warned Burke at the end of season two and Burke died at the beginning of season three. And when she went to Burke's funeral, she was staring Howard down because she knows he did this. Now, once again, I mentioned prior that Howard is a big potential first kill for Jukebox. And it was because of the Burke situation. And also I pointed out the parallels of him being a dirty cop, her seeing him, and then her going on to be a dirty cop in the original power. But now if he was to take down Marvin as well, send him to prison, she no longer has her dad in her life when he's trying to change 
change be a better dad i think she'll always resent and hold that against him i think this will be the final push to send her to the army at the end of season three and that possibly could be her first kill in season four so that's something we gotta look at and check out with howard because obviously we know her girl group is about to end in a disaster i'm gonna make a whole separate video on that but we know that's not gonna last yet we've been seeing this entire season every single episode they showed at least one clip of something to do with an army whether she was getting a physical whether she was looking at pamphlets whether she got her asvab scores back all of that so we know they've been setting this up the entire season i think marvin going to prison will be the last and final straw but once again going into season four Howard, he's gonna have a target on his back and I think Jukebox is gonna be the one to put it into him. Her first kill being a dirty cop and then her becoming a dirty cop just makes so much sense in my opinion. Overall, that's it for this video. How do you see the season ending for all three of them? Marvin, Howard, and Jukebox. Also, you guys let me know your guesses for Jukebox's first kill, how the, the disaster with her girl group will go, and also, do you really think she's going to the military? Once again, they've been setting it up the entire season. I'm inclined to believe they're gonna do it. We also just gotta wait and see if they do ever figure out that Howard is the dirty cop. Once again, when they do the background check, if they find out Rock, Raquel was his criminal informant, there's not really much else he could do about it. He's gonna have to come clean and give someone up. And with Marvin already being the prime suspect, he's just on the chopping block. As usual though, you guys leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know once again who else you want to see me do a video on and I'm out.